Hi guys, this is Empties. I was on vacation and I just bring my empties back. Um, I didn't really have a ton, but I just kind of want to start fresh since I'm home. So I'm going to show you all the things. I used a couple things up before I left. A couple things since I've been back in the last not even 24 hours. And then the stuff I used while I was there. So let's just get started. I finished this Bath & Body Works Ocean Driftwood candle. This smelled amazing. It was beachside oak, mahogany, and fresh air. I loved it. Um, finish this up today is the Brazilian Keratin Novax Hair Care Cream. I am not a fan of this stuff at all. It does nothing. I actually did another deep conditioning treatment after I used that one. That's how bad it was. Okay, let me see. I have quite a few makeup, but I'll do that at the end. Okay, let me see. I did dye my hair before I left, so I always use the Revlon Color Silk, ammonia free, and I did burgundy. I finished my Garnier Skin Active Micellar Water. I already am using a pink one, and if you haven't checked out my epic haul that I filmed before this, uh, yesterday and posted before this, I mean, uh, I got another one of these for 50 cents with a gift certificate and a coupon. I finished the Murad Hydrating Toner, was not impressed by this at all. Also finished the Smashbox Primer Oil before I left. I'd rather just use an Argan Oil or something like that. It wasn't that great. This was a total fail. It's the Burt's Bees Intense Hydration Facial Water. Definitely don't like that. And this smelled like plastic. It was a Victoria's Secret Smoothing Scrub Wash in Coconut Milk. Oh my god, it was so nasty. That was probably the nastiest smell I've ever smelled. Uh, Finish the Olay Regenerous Multi-Day Sculpting Cream. This is very lightweight. I like more of a cream. Them calling that a cream, that's not a cream. Um, was not impressed. Love these. These are the cucumber cleansing tissues from uh, Big Lots. I absolutely love those. Finish the Dentex Triple Clean Floss Picks. These were from Big Lots as well and very awesome. Um, it came with, I forget how many, for 70 cents. Uh, let's see, I have quite a bit of masks. I did this mask today. I just got it from my Pinch Me box. Once again, all my Pinch Me samples are in that epic haul. This is a Shea Moisture Peace Rose Oil Complex Sensitive Skin Mud Mask. And honestly, I put this on my skin and it made it burn. I don't have sensitive skin and this is supposed to be a sensitive skin mask, so I definitely don't recommend that. Use the Eucerin in shower moisturizer. I just don't like these in shower moisturizers. Um, wasn't impressed by this one. Definitely won't purchase. This is the New Pore Revitalizing Gel Eye Strips. These are the bomb.com. They're like a gel and just underneath your eye. I have another one of them. It came in a two pack um, for a dollar. And they were awesome. And I'm going to show you the sheet masks. And then I'm going to show you my makeup empties, and that's it. It's a short one this time, guys. Um, I used the New Age Beauty Retinol Spa Treatment Mask. I just picked these up from Burlington, and I really liked it. It's just that it didn't fit my face well, and it also ripped because it was so wet that when I was trying to pull it apart to put on my face, I ripped it. So kind of a fail. This is the new pour. I got these at a dollar store as well, not Dollar Tree, just a different one. They came in a two pack, just two different random masks for a dollar. And this was the Collagen Essence Natural Herb. This was awesome, like totally awesome. It had almost too much essence in it. So I did use the rest of the essence, mixed it into my moisturizer a few times. Awesome stuff, guys. And then I used two of the Brightening Essence Mask Aloe you guys know I've talked about these before, and I do like these as well, and I have a couple left. In terms of makeup, I finished the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. I can't get this tiny bit out, but I would use this to set my under eye concealer, um, and it did a really nice job. I did finish my What's Up highlighter. I can't get any more, but look, it's gone. It's gone. Bye. Bye, Felicia. This stuff just didn't do it for me at all. And then today I finished two makeup products. I finished the Urban Decay um, Eyeshadow Primer Potion, this little guy. And I also am calling the Urban Decay Perversion Liquids. Um, I've been trying to use it a few times and it's just getting really clumpy. It's gone, guys. It's, it's done. And I don't have any more. And it's my favorite. 
but I've been loving the Benefit They're Real. I'm so impressed by it. And I have tons of the deluxe samples, like four. I have one that I've been using, should be done soon, and then like three more. So I'll just use those and yeah. So these four are going into my makeup empties. I believe I'm at like $340 in makeup empties for the year. Totally awesome. So we're about five, five and a half months in. So I have about a month and a half for my halfway point. I'm hoping to finish a handful of more things. I really, really wanted to hit 750 in the makeup empties this year. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to. I have a few things that are almost done. NARS stuff and um, a lot of it is drugstore. So it's not really going to make my total go up. So there's maybe a strategy to this. I need to use some of my high-end things. So that is my empties. I hope you enjoy it. Probably the shortest empties I've ever done. But I want to start fresh and some back. So happy emptying. Bye.